Hey there, thank you so much for joining me for today's video and an extra thank you to my returning subscribers. Today I'm going to be going over my spending for the last couple of weeks of October. So this is going to include all of my variable spending as well as any sinking fund spending that I may have done during that period so that I can see if I have anything left over to put in a future budget. For those of you who are new to my content, my name is Kay and I love sharing my budget planning and debt journey here on YouTube. And uh, if you find yourself enjoying my content, just please be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on so that you don't miss when I upload. So let's get going on this weekly check-in. I'm going to need to open up into October. And I'm going to need my check-in sheet here as well as my calendar. And I think what I'm gonna do first is add all of the spending tracking onto my calendar first, and then I'll go in and do the calculations on the check-in sheet. So I'm gonna put that aside for now. And we're gonna recover everything under here, get everything in good working position. And here I've got my skinny mini, which is where I track my expenses. So I'm going to need to go into October here. And this is for week four and week five. So the last couple of weeks of October. And let's start. I did so much food spending this week. I was away for work again. So it looks like for Monday I had two food expenses. I had Olive Garden for $22.67 and then I went to Market Basket to pick up some snacks and that came out to $27.93. So that was Monday. Tuesday, more food. I had Burger King and Starbucks. And Burger King is 9.39. Starbucks was 5.35. And then I'm just gonna do all of them since I have the sheet in front of me. Wednesday McDonald's for seven fifty five and then Starbucks again five eighty nine and then Friday I did some allowance spending at Kohl's for seven ninety nine and I did some pet spending at Peco for $5.99, which was just to get some litter. So that's all of the other expenses for week four. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them. So these were Tuesday. And then these two were Wednesday. And then Thursday was a no spend, so I can go ahead and mark that. And then Friday was Kohl's and Petco. And then the Saturday and Sunday were both no spend days as well. So 
So that was week four. Looking into week five, which is the week that just passed, um, I only got gas. Um, I didn't spend pretty much any money. Um, I was stuck in quarantine because I had COVID symptoms, so I was not allowed to go to work and I had to isolate. My test came back negative, so I'm good. I'm back to work now, but I had to go like deliver my test and I had like no gas in my car and I was like, oh no, I have to get gas. So I filled my tank. It cost me $30 to fill my tank, which is ridiculous, but I don't control the prices. So that was the only bit of spending that I did that week. So Shell, $30 even. And I, for some reason, never do this on camera. Um, I can just add my rent money here because I already did that. It was eight seventy six, which is definitely paid. And Adobe got paid. It's the last month of my discount. If you haven't seen November's monthly budget, my Adobe is going up to thirty dollars a month. But that's still a student discount, so I can't even be mad because normally it'd be fifty dollars a month. And now I have to decide what color I want to do. I ran out of all like my themed colors for this spread here. Um, I guess I'll go into like coral. I feel like would be the next appropriate color. I don't know why because it reminds me of candy I guess. and no spend on Halloween. So a very uneventful end to the month, but I didn't fill my laundry card. I was able to make it through the month with the little bit that I already had on it before coming into the month. And also my parents graciously let me do a few loads at their house while I was picking up my cat. So I know I'm going to have a surplus of 40 just from not having to fill my laundry card on that. So I'm all set with the double spread and everything. So I'm going to go straight into the check-in numbers and look at the solid math here. So I'm going to be checking in week four and week five with all my usual expense categories. And I didn't add anything additional to them over the course of the couple weeks. So between week four and week five, I only had one allowance expense, which was for $7.99. I didn't have anything on the fifth week and I ended so in week three I ended with 3186 and I spent 799 so I had 2387 left over for gas I only had the one expense it was thirty dollars. I didn't spend anything on week four. I had thirty-seven thirty-two left. I think this marker is gonna die. It's getting really light. Um, so I had thirty-seven thirty-two take thirty. So I have seven thirty-two remaining for gas. Food. I had ended with one fifteen fifty-two. I gotta total up 
all of my food expenses that I did on the fourth week, but I didn't do anything on the fifth week. So it came out to 7878. That's a that's a fun number, I guess. And then so I had 115 52 subtract 7878 leaves me with 3674. So still under budget here. Laundry was great because I didn't spend any of my laundry money, so the whole $40 came surplus. And then pets, which I was already very over to begin with, which I explained in my last check-in video why, but I did do a tiny bit of spend to just pick up some litter. I forgot to write zero there. So I was over by 65.44 and I'm adding 5.99 to the overage. So that puts me over at 71.43 or under, however you want to think about it. I put it in parentheses because it's like negative. So 71.43. So now I've got to total everything up down here. Let me show you. All of this stuff has to get totaled up to see if I have any surplus that I can apply to a later month's budget. So 23.87 plus 7.32 plus 36.74 plus 40 minus 71.43 so we end in the positive, we end plus 36.50. So that should be my budget surplus when I go to close out my October budget. So there is my spending for the last couple weeks of October. I need to calculate these values anyway when I go to do my monthly budget closeout and I feel like I never really share the last couple weeks of spending for some reason. So I did it. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like as well as a comment down below letting me know how you did with your October spending. If you want to support me and my content and my journey, uh, the best thing to do is to make sure you're subscribed with the notifications turned on so that you do get notified when I upload a new budgeting video. If you like my budgeting sheets, they are available on my Etsy shop, which is K Planner Printables. You can also keep up with me in between uploads. I'm on Instagram at K Budget Plans. And I have my community tab now, which I am trying to be fairly active in. So you can always keep an eye out there for updates as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. You're the best. And I hope to see you down in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.